Ever wondered how to keep your four-legged friends comfortable during the chilly winter months? Well, you're not alone. It's a topic that's often overlooked, yet so important. We're going to delve into the essentials of managing dogs during the frosty season. We'll be covering everything from understanding different dog breeds and their specific needs, to keeping them warm, nutrition, hydration, and even outdoor safety during winter. So, brace yourself for some cool knowledge. Let's dive into the world of winter dog management and help our furry friends have a cozy winter. Scene script. First things first, it's vital to understand that not all dogs are created equal when it comes to handling cold weather. Just as humans have different tolerances to cold, so do our canine companions. Some breeds, like the Siberian Husky or the Alaskan Malamute, are built for the snow and ice with their thick double coats and sturdy bodies. On the other hand, smaller breeds like Chihuahuas or Bichon Frises, with their thin coats and petite frames, may struggle with the cold. A dog's ability to withstand cold weather is not just about breed though. It's also about their individual characteristics and overall health. Let's unpack this a bit. A dog's coat is their first line of defense against the cold. Breeds with thick double coats are naturally equipped to handle lower temperatures. But what about those with short or thin coats? Well, they might need a little extra help in the form of doggy sweaters or jackets. Body fat stores also play a role. Dogs with more body fat can tolerate cold better than their leaner counterparts. But remember, this isn't an excuse to overfeed your dog. A healthy weight is still vital. Activity level is also a factor. An active dog generates more body heat, which helps keep them warm. However, elderly or health-compromised dogs might have a harder time generating and maintaining body heat. Knowing your dog's breed and its comfort level with the cold is the first step in managing their winter needs. Now let's talk about keeping our canine companions warm. When winter's chill sets in, our dogs rely on us to help them stay cozy and comfortable. One of the first steps in ensuring their warmth is providing proper shelter. For those dogs who spend a significant amount of time outdoors, a well-insulated doghouse is a must. This should be windproof, waterproof, and elevated off the ground to prevent the cold from seeping in. Make sure it's large enough for your dog to move around in but cozy enough to hold their body heat. Now, not all dogs are created equal when it comes to handling the cold. Short-haired breeds or those without a thick undercoat may need a little extra help. This is where doggy sweaters come into play. These aren't just cute fashion statements, they serve a crucial function. When choosing a sweater, make sure it covers the dog's belly and doesn't restrict movement. It should be snug but not too tight. And remember, wet sweaters can make your dog colder, so keep them dry. Even inside the home, your dog needs a warm place to sleep. A plush, insulating bed can make a world of difference. Consider adding a blanket or a heated pet mat for those particularly chilly nights. Just make sure to follow all safety instructions if you opt for a heated mat. But why all this fuss about keeping them warm? Well, dogs, just like humans, can suffer from hypothermia and frostbite. Hypothermia occurs when a dog's body temperature drops significantly below normal, leading to a slow heart rate and breathing problems. Frostbite, on the other hand, is tissue damage caused by extreme cold, often affecting the ears, tail, and paws. So, as you button up your coat and slip on your gloves, don't forget about your furry friends. They're counting on you to help them navigate the winter months safely. Remember, if it's too cold for you, it's probably too cold for your pet, so keep them warm. What about their diet? Does it change in winter? Well, the answer might surprise you. Your dog's nutritional needs can indeed vary with the season. The cold winter months in particular may require a bit more attention to diet and hydration. When temperatures drop, dogs, much like humans, burn more calories to stay warm. This is especially true for active dogs who love frolicking in the snow. They'll need a bit of an increase in their food intake to compensate for the extra energy they're burning. It's a delicate balance though, and it's important not to overfeed them, as this can lead to unwanted weight gain. So, monitor your dog's weight and activity level closely and adjust their food intake as needed. Hydration too is crucial during winter. You might think that because it's cold, your dog doesn't need as much water. But in fact, staying hydrated in cold weather can be just as important as in the heat. Dehydration can make it harder for dogs to regulate their body temperature, which can leave them feeling even colder. So keep that water bowl filled and encourage your dog to drink regularly. Remember every dog is unique and what works for one might not work for another. If you're unsure about any changes to your dog's diet or hydration needs, it's always best to consult with your vet. So, adjust their diet and keep them well hydrated to help them stay warm and energetic. Exercise is just as important in winter as it is in summer. 
but it comes with its unique challenges. Our furry friends need to stay active to maintain a healthy weight and to burn off energy. However, winter weather can make this a challenging task. Just as we adjust our workout routines for the colder months, we need to do the same for our dogs. This doesn't mean we should avoid outdoor activities altogether. On the contrary, winter can offer a wealth of new experiences for our dogs, like playing in the snow or tracking through a frosty forest. However, it does mean we need to take some extra precautions to ensure their safety. One essential safety measure is to use reflective gear. As the days get shorter and the nights longer, visibility becomes increasingly important. A reflective collar or leash can help keep your dog visible to others, especially during those early morning or late evening walks. Next, it is crucial to avoid frozen ponds or lakes. While it might seem like a fun idea to let your dog slide around on the ice, the risk is simply too great. The ice might not be as stable as it seems, and a sudden crack could lead to a dangerous situation. Finally, we need to pay special attention to our dog's paws. Winter conditions can lead to the formation of ice balls between their toes which can be painful and cause discomfort. Also, the salt used on roads and sidewalks to melt ice can be harmful to their paws. After every walk it's a good practice to check their paws and clean them if necessary. Winter might seem like a daunting time for dog owners but remember, our four-legged friends are adaptable and resilient. With the right gear, a keen eye for safety and a bit of preparation, you and your dog can enjoy the winter season to its fullest. With a little bit of caution and preparation, winter can be a fun time for outdoor activities with your dog. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about managing dogs during winter. We kicked off our journey by understanding the importance of recognizing the different dog breeds. Just like us, each breed has their own unique needs, especially when it comes to cold weather. Some breeds are naturally built for the cold with their thick coats and sturdy bodies. Think of the Siberian Huskies and Bernese Mountain Dogs of the world. These breeds revel in the snow, but then there are those breeds that might need a little extra help to stay warm. Small, short-haired and lean-bodied breeds like the Greyhounds or Chihuahuas are more susceptible to the cold. It's crucial to know your dog's breed and its specific needs to ensure they stay healthy and happy during winter. Next, we moved on to discuss how to keep our dogs warm. No matter the breed, all dogs can benefit from a cozy, warm place to sleep. Providing them with a proper bed placed away from drafts and off the cold floor is a simple yet effective way to keep them comfortable. For those short-haired or lean-bodied breeds, dog sweaters or jackets can provide that extra layer of warmth they need when venturing out into the cold. After that we delved into winter nutrition and hydration. Just like humans, dogs may need a little extra fuel during the cold months. Depending on their activity level, their dietary needs can change always ensure they have access to fresh, unfrozen water. And remember, it's essential to consult with a vet before making any significant changes to your dog's diet. We then explored winter exercise and outdoor safety. Even in the cold, dogs need their exercise. However, it's essential to be mindful of the conditions outside. Ice, snow, and salt can all pose risks to your dog's paws and overall health. So, make sure to wipe their paws after walks, Consider using dog boots for protection and always keep an eye out for signs of discomfort or distress. So there you have it. With these tips, you and your furry friend can enjoy the winter months in comfort and safety. Stay warm and take care.